so we've got a uh, geothermal unit here um, to geocool and uh, initially the water was coming in at 60 and going out at uh, 48 and um, pretty much uh, now the unit stabilized with incoming water actually water is coming in in the 40s and going out in the 60s and then uh, water is now coming in over here I've got the um, the out the outdoor air temperature strapped to the pipe so we've got incoming at around uh, uh, in the 50s and we'll go 54 and we're going out at 44 over there um, I got to get myself a differential uh, temperature thermometer but for now we're just uh, hooked up the regular way using the eye connect and um, with the, the engineer over here thinks that the pipes may have been reversed and that uh so what I did is over here is I've got a bypass on the pressure switch and I'm going to disconnect the bypass in about two minutes and see if everything's stable and stays on. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm trying a voiceover for maybe the second time ever. Um, pretty much to what we've got going on is on the screen you've got the pressures and temperatures. Outside air is actually the... Um, not outside air, but incoming water temperature. Initially, the pipe was coming in kind of warm and cold and getting all wacky, not acting like the way a heat pump would. Um, we pretty much figured out the pipes were not reversed. However, the pipes were very cold due to the um, incoming Okay, to continue because the recording stopped, um, the pipes were really cold because the engineer decided to make a homemade economizer by just dumping air from the outside into the building. Uh, happens to be it dumps the air right near a bunch of the piping, which is insulated, so the piping was really cold. Really, really cold. Anyway, um, I've really got to learn a little bit more about heat pumps and uh, got to thank somebody uh, today, so one of these YouTube guys that... I just don't want to mention his name, but uh, he always helps me out. Really much appreciated. And um, he told me where to put the suction and the uh, liquid line um, sensors because I had no idea. I've never worked on a heat pump before. But all in all, the uh, pressures seem to be fine. The pressure switches are artificially high from the factory, and this factory should send out brand new pressure switches. The question is who will pay for all the labor to evacuate and recharge units. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.